going from breeding season in the horse barn to breeding season in the cow barn. Now, most of our breeding with the cows is done, but we did have a few restip cows, meaning surrogate cows, that did not take. The embryos did not take, they were not pregnant. And so we don't want them carrying their own babies. So we do have a cattle sale, and it is, you know, sometimes amazing to have a few that are calving in the spring for that sale, um, and sometimes buyers like that. So we are breeding a little bit late with the recips that are open. So these five need cedars. Cedars is, let me show you. Okay, it looks like a giant IUD. I promise it's like, well, I mean, kind of. It makes you think you're pregnant. Makes Well, it makes them think they're pregnant. It has progesterone in it. So we put the cedars in, leave the cedars in to make them think they're pregnant. And then when we take them all out at the same time, it allows us to sync them up with each other or with the donor cow. And then we put the frozen or the conventional embryo in when they're perfectly ready for it. Okay, well that tail is a going and spreading poop like crazy. Anyway, so he's going to just insert. Charles is going to get thrown all over the place. And there you go. So that little string, it's in there. She's also going to get a little shot of Sister Ellen. There we go. Number five. So that, that's literally how quick it was. It was so easy. He's going to let her go and then we're going to do the others. And then here soon, we're going to take all the cedars out. And then a couple days later, they should be in heat. And then we'll put the embryos in, yada, yada, yada. Check and see if they're pregnant 30 days later. And with both frozen and conventional embryos, which is what we do, it's about a 30% success rate. So out of the nine that we're doing today, you know, we're really hoping for three or more embryos to take place. So yeah, breeding season all around. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you have any questions.